Hi, the Inspired Actor here with the March vlog for my comedy of airs. Um, so what have I been up to? Uh, over the past month, I have been uh, entering into rehearsals with the very uh, talented and capable Sarah Wolf, who's been helping me through the verse and kind of watching me over Zoom um, to make sure that my characters are clear and that the action is clear and that the story that I want to tell which is Shakespeare's story, is being told. And she's been really, really helpful in um, giving me some really, really great notes. Um, is it where I want it to be? Of course not, because I'm still in the rehearsal process. Um, the other day I did a full kind of stumble through of the entire piece off book and with the characters that I'm working on. And uh, overall, I'm fairly pleased at where it is considering I've still got a long way to go. The characters are not, they fall in and out. Sometimes I think you'll notice and I'm still struggling with how to transition between characters and um, some of the dialects are of course way off and I need to work on those. But for the most part, it's coming along very nicely. I'm very excited. Um, next month, I'm going to show it to a select group of uh, people who I want to invite and get their input on where this is. And this is the end of my phase one part of my comedy of airs, which took a whole heck of a long time. <laughs> it took a long, long time. But um, after I'm finished with that, then I can move on to phase two, where I'll add costumes and set pieces and start, uh, and music. I'm trying to learn the concertina so that I can play um, uh, in between parts. And um, it's already running like at 70 minutes. So I don't know how much room I'll have for this concertina. Uh, if I want to do a full length show, that would be great to use the, the concertina, but um, I might have to trim things way down if I want to take this to fringe festivals, which is the ultimate goal, is to, to take this to fringe and maybe even go to Edinburgh, Scotland, should they ever have theater again in this COVID world. I certainly hope so because it's my dream to uh, perform there. So that's where we're at with my comedy of airs. It's coming along. Everything is moving according to schedule. I have a good selection of people coming to see the show uh, early next month. And then we're going to move into weekly rehearsals with Sarah. And um, I'm going to be really working on learning the concertina and uh, running it and trying to drill it so that it runs like a machine, like the machine that I I kind of want it to. So um, here is about 10 minutes of uh, the entire run through that I did. So I cut it from 70 minutes to about 10 minutes just so I, so I can show you where I am at with this incredible project. A heavier task could not have been imposed than I to speak my griefs unspeakable. Were it not against our laws, against my crown, or my oath, or my dignity, which princes would they may not disannul, my soul would sue as advocate for thee. <laughs> ah, there is the money I give you to keep. Go, bear to the centaur where we host, and stay there, Dromeo, till I come for thee. Many a man might take thee at thy word and go indeed, having so good a beef. <laughs> How chance thou art returned so soon, Dromeo? Return so soon, rather approach too late. What? What thou plot me? Unto my face being forbid? There, take you that, sir knave. What mean you, sir? For God's sake, hold your hands. Then you will know I'll take my heels. Oh. They say this town is full of cousinage. His company must do his minions praise, whilst I at home starve for a merry look. The gold I gave to Dromeo is laid up safe at the centaur. I, I, Antiphilus look strange and frown. I am possessed of an adulterate blot. My blood is mingled with the crime of lust. What? Married to her in my dreams? 
If we obey them not, this will ensue. They'll suck our breath and pinch us black and blue. But <laughs> uh, stop, mate. The door is locked. <laughs> Far more truth, mistress. Your town is plagued by unruly boys. Are you there, wife? You might have come before. Your wife, sir, Dave, go get thee from the door. Here ring your war against your reputation and draw into the compass of suspect the inviolated honor of your wife. Be ruled by me, depart in patience. I know a woman of excellent discourse, pretty and witty, wow, yet too gentle. There will we dine. There's none but witches do inhabit here, and therefore tis high time that I were hence. You know, since uh, Pentecost the sum is due, and since I have not much importune you, nor now I have not, but that I am bound to sea and want gilders for my voyage. Either consent to pay this sum for me, or I'll attach you by an officer. Officer! I do arrest you, sir. I shall debate this matter with more leisure and teach your ears to list with more heed. Sweet. Now, the purse, the chain. Come, sweet, now, make haste. How has they lost thy breath? For running fast. There's not a man I meet, but doth salute me as if I were their well acquainted friend. And everyone doth call me by my name. Some blessed power deliver us from hence. I would have will our senseless sir, that I might not feel your blows. <laughs> I conjure thee. Satan, by all the saints in heaven to leave possession to my holy prayers, and to thy place of darkness hide thee straight. I charge thee by all the saints in heaven, peace, doting wizard, peace. Ah, I am not mad. Is it? in these contraries. It is no shame. The fellow finds his vein, and yielding to him, he will dwell his frenzy. More company! The vein is strong with him. I me, how pale and wan he looks. Bring me forthwith unto his creditors, and knowing how the debt grows, I will pay it. Ha 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 ha! God, for thy mercy, then this again, and come with naked swords. Ha 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 I see these witches are afraid of swords. Mr. Antiphilus, I wonder much that you should put me to such pain and trouble with circumstances, so to deny this chain, which now you wear so openly. Thou art a villain to impeach me thus. I'll prove mine honor and mine honesty presently. If thou darest, stand. I will, sir. Just you wait one second. Aha! Now I got you. Ha! Ho! 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 ho I'm better swordsman than you. Hold! Hurt him not! For God's sake, he is mad! Oh, quick! For God's sake, form the house! Here is some priory, in a we are spoiled. Oh, uh, uh, oh dear, they ran into the, the convent. Oh, I mean. Oh, no, what are we going to do? I do not know, I want my money. Oh, 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 oh. Be quiet, people. Wherefore throng you hither? I shall attend my husband, be his nurse, Die at his sickness, for it is my office, and want no attorney but myself, and therefore let me have him home with me. 
Be patient, for I shall not let him stir until I have used the approved means I have of wholesome syrups, drugs, and holy prayers to make of him a formal man again. Come, go! I will fall prostrate at his feet and never rise until my towels and crowns upon his grace to come in person hither and pitch before my husband from the abbess. Anon, I'm sure the Duke himself in person comes this way to the melancholy vale, a place of death and sorry execution, to see a reverend Syracusan merchant that put unluckily into this bay against the laws and statutes of the town, beheaded publicly for his offense. Justice, most gracious Duke against the abbess! She is a virtuous and a reverend lady. It cannot be that she hath done thee wrong. And therefore, most gracious Duke at thy command, let him be brought forth and borne home for help. Justice! Most gracious Duke, oh, grant me justice! I am advised what I say, neither disturbed with the effects of wine, your heavy rash provoked with raging ire, I'll be at my wrong might make one wiser mad. This woman, I mean, lock me out this day from dinner. That goldsmith there, <laughs> were he not packed with her, could witness it, for he was with me then, who parted with me to go fetch a chain, promising to bring it to the porpentine. Oh, time's extremity, hast thou all oh, grief and change me since you, Oh, grief hath changed me since you saw me last. The Duke and all that know me in this town can witness with me that it is not so. I never saw Syracuse in my life. I tell thee, Syracuse, in 20 years have I been patron to Antipodus. One of these men is genius to the other. And so of these, which of these is the natural man and then which is the spirit? Uh, who deciphers them? Aye, oh, sir, Andromeo, send him away. Aye, oh, sir, Andromeo, pray let me stay. I dream not thou art, Amelia. If thou art she, tell me, where is the sun that floated with thee on the fatal raft? <laughs> Brother, I see we still did meet each other's man, and I was tame for him, and he for me, and thereupon these heirs are arose. Ha! This purse of ducats pawn I from my father here. It shall not need, it shall not need. Thy father hath his life. I came into this world like brother and brother. Now let's go hand in hand, not one before another. And that was it. That was the entire play cut down to about 10 minutes. You just saw about 10 minutes of it. So I will see you next month, probably, hopefully earlier, but probably next month. And until then, uh, fingers crossed, see you guys later.